When it comes to the bee business... Yeah, if you keep bees, I'll guarantee you will get two things. Stung and sticky. John Gabor is your man. There is some honey in here. In his 40 uh, years like as a beekeeper... There is some brood over here. He hasn't seen a honeybee colony. You can just see the honeycomb down right next to the eaves. Quite like the one taking up residence in Becky Riley's Omaha home. We heard a loud and rhythmic buzzing that was somewhat terrifying because we knew what it meant. Bees will find a little hole, ah, home, and they'll just move in. To help get out of the sticky situation, Riley called Dakota Green Roofing Company. And lo and behold, they do bees. Well, the damage was terrible. It was the honey was coming through their sofa and it was just leaking down the front of their side of their house. Dakota Green happens to have a beekeeper on staff, Janelle Greico. She was really concerned about saving her bees, but getting them out of her attic at the same time. Starkey removed the bees, the hives, and 40 pounds of honey out of the attic. It's just so strange to know that we had thousands of bees in our attic. Some of the bees didn't make it, and others are now living in Gabor's garage, hibernating until the spring. That's when he'll safely set up a hive in Riley's backyard, not her attic. This looks pretty good. That's fairly clear. The sweet part of the story? Not only will I remove your your bee colony out of your house, but you'll get some nice honey out of it too. Called Attic Fall 2017. That's as local as it gets. Tastes really good too. So Becky says those bottles of honey will make great Christmas gifts this year. And Starkey says if you find bees in your attic or your walls, don't kill them. He says it's best to relocate them and remove the bee pheromones from your home so they don't come back. Back to you, Rob. All right.